Hello folks, it's Mitch Boyle with Triple Double Sports Cards at tripledoublesportscards.com with my partner and my son, Kellen. How's it going? So we haven't done a video in a long time and uh, mostly because we haven't been sending in anything to PSA. It's been too expensive and the return times have been crappy and all that stuff. And honestly, we've already turned in most of what we had and we've done a couple of videos exposing how those grades went. Well, this time we kind of took the dregs of what was left and what was questionable. So I don't expect really great grades here. As a matter of fact, as you know, we had a contest and we're gonna find out after we do all of these grades today, who won and it was your thoughts on the most PSA eights out of these 40 some odd cards. Now what's interesting about these cards beyond the fact that they're not gonna grade all that high, so we also have some when they're suspect that they'll even grade. Uh, we had some star cards, which PSA just started grading, and then we've had some Kareem Abdul-Jabbar sticker cards, which about one out of five of those ever are able to be graded because they're miscut. So this this whole blind thing is going to be kind of messy as opposed to the last time we did one, I think we were doing uh, PSA 10s from 1986-87. So without anything else, why don't you go ahead and start us off, and we'll just see what's uh, in this mess. All righty, then. I'm, I, I just have no idea. <laughs> this is so exciting. Do you want to take five in a row? Uh, yeah, let's do five in a row. That's what we did last time. And there will be some that did not get graded. Like I said, those star cards. So. All right, are we ready? And, yeah, we're expecting mostly, for the record, if we get anything between a six and an eight, it was good that we got it graded. Anything less than that, mm, not so, not so much. All right. To start off, Akeem Olajuwon. Okay, so this is interesting. When we opened up that pack of 1986-87 clear basketball, remember that thing where the seal was all busted? Yeah. This was one of the cards that came out of it. Oh. Yes. So that's pretty good. We were hoping, I think, for a nine, but the centering's kind of screwed up. So um, wild guess on what that card would go for between probably 120 and 180 bucks. So that's good. All right. Yep. Moving on. Larry Bird. We got a Larry Bird. PSA 7. That's good. I'll take it. Again, this was a card that we didn't send in because we didn't think we'd get a very good grade. Anything a 6 or above is fine. Okay. Moving on, we got another Larry Bird to review. And this time, it's Ooh, an 8. 1986 wow. Fleer sticker. That is excellent. Uh, uh, anything, again, in that range is... I don't think we're going to get any 9s. As a matter of fact, I predict we'll get none. But um, that's probably, the other one was the regular Larry Bird from 86. This is the sticker. And it'll probably go for a similar price. I'd say between 80 and 120. So nice, that's a nice surprise. Not bad at all. Yeah. We got another Larry Bird 1986 Fleer sticker and this one also an eight. Oh, good, all right, excellent. That's, that's two in a row, not too bad. Yeah, yeah, I'm very happy about that. This is better than what I had expected considering. Mm. And finally, of my five, Larry Bird, another 86 Fleer and another eight. That is really terrific. I'm just overwhelmed with the, the, the satisfaction of the grades we're getting. It almost makes me think, as opposed to two years ago when PSA was getting thousands of things graded and they were getting way too many PSA 10s that, and I, I love to have the feedback. We talk about subscribe and comments and things like that. I'd love to find out what your thoughts on are. Has PSA's grading gotten harder or what it's kind of looking like to me early on, maybe a little bit easier. So having said that, let's move on. Okay, so I got five here. I think these are a bunch of Isaiah Thomas's stickers. Okay, there it is. Another A. Another A, not too bad. Yeah, and I don't know if I remember telling you this, but there's wax on the back of these. Did I tell you about how we clean it off? I don't think so. So the old adage is just take a nylon, which is weird, pantyhose, mm -hmm. and rub it off, and then um, it'll, it'll come off. And that's the adhesive. Yeah, yes, the wax that okay. holds the the uh, the pack that sticks to the cards to hold it, everything together. Um, but in this particular case, what I started doing when I started getting these graded, it was taking way too long. So I actually put them in the microwave for about 10 to 14 seconds to heat up the wax so it would come off very easily. Really? Yes. Is that recommended? <laughs> well, don't tell anybody. <laughs> no, I've already mentioned this once on another video. Um, I don't know that anybody else does it, but if you're doing a lot of these and you're trying to do them by hand with that nylon, it might take like, two minutes. In this particular case, once you do that, it takes 14 seconds. Yeah. 
14 seconds to heat it up, 14 seconds to clean it up. So anyway, That's good science, news on baby. that one. Yeah, All right. yeah, high tech, man. Okay, so here's another Isaiah. Let's take a look at the back, and it's always fun to say, okay, centering looks good, it's a clean looking card uh, on the back. I mean, it's not great. I kind of held that off the side. There's the back, sorry. Okay, and a seven. So the centering not nearly as good. Um, but not too bad. Like we said, anything six, seven, or eight is gonna be uh, worthwhile. I think it costs 15 bucks to get these graded and a seven's gonna go for, I just sold an Adrian Dantley seven, I think for 50 bucks. So that's probably gonna go for 60 or 70. All right. Oh yeah, another, another uh, Isaiah eight. Thomas. Yeah, we got five of these. So that's good. Very happy with that. Two more Isaiahs to go. Another eight. Now this is all very good news. I figure what I spent on grading on these, I wanna say it was like 980 bucks. Um, it'll be a little bit less than that because there were some ungraded cards. As a matter of fact, I'm seeing a whole bunch of them here. Mm -hmm. Yikes. <laughs> oh, as soon as we get, as soon as we get done with that, we'll maybe jump or with this set and after your set, maybe we'll jump in that. And the last Isaiah is a six. So that's the lowest grade we've gotten so Ooh. far. Yeah. Uh, it's centered pretty well. What do you think made this get a six instead well, of the other eights and sevens? That's such a good question. You know what we'll do? Wow, look at the centering on the back on that. It's perfect. Sometimes I don't get all the wax off, but I can tell that I the wax is in pretty good shape. So let's just, it's probably a corner issue because if this is an eight, mm -hmm. I mean, to the naked eye, I think I'd rather have this one. You know, the centering seems to be better. Oh, ah, look. There's a little something there right next to his ear. And it, oh, yeah, it looks like a little bit of Gapanka got, got chipped off or yep. perhaps just was never printed. Right, exactly, exactly. However, look at this one on the eight, the little red dot yeah. over there. I'm trying to see, if, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good question. Outside of that, if the viewers want to tell us what they think, maybe they're seeing something that we can't, but that's yes. a good question, because that's a, that's a $70 difference. Uh, between a six and an eight, maybe even more, maybe even a hundred bucks. Okay, so I've got a question. Yes. Can a card ever be printed so horribly wrong that it's actually worth more? Like it's some type of awful printing error that accidentally went out and got sold? I'm sure there's some uh, history of that. And again, please comment on it. Uh, there are what are called error cards where they print a name wrong and they do a very limited run of those error cards. And because it's so limited, they're worth more. Right. So I guess, in essence, that is true. Mm -hmm. I'll we'll move on to my next five, unless you're... No, go right ahead. All right. Yeah. We got Magic Johnson. Oh, good. 1986 Fleer sticker. Excellent. Got an eight. Yeah, that's good. That's a nice looking card. Okay, good. All right. Moving on. Another Magic Johnson of the same variety and another eight. Yeah. Okay, that this is all turning out to be better than I expected, although I'm seeing a bunch of cards over here, and we'll get to those in just a minute that did not get graded. Okay. All right. Keep this train going, and another eight. Oh, wow. Three eights in a row, not too huh. bad. I should have turned these in because I've got a lot of magic stickers that I turned in in the first batch that were sixes and sevens, so I just, I just missed what I thought was a card that wouldn't grade as high as others that were actually and ultimately graded lower. Interesting. Now this one, just looking at the back before I flip it, yeah. you kind of see that it's got, I'm not sure if this is part of it, but you can see oh. there's a wrong, in the Fleer logo, you can see a bit of redness that did not get hit by the white print. And then yeah. I'm not sure if that's intentional shading on the basketball for the next logo, but I don't think so. Let's, so let's see. And it's a seven. Yeah, not bad at all. Uh, yeah. Now before you turn this next card, show the back of it because and we'll get rid of the Patrick Ewing because I want to tell you something about this. This card is interesting. I'm almost positive, and this was also an experiment that I sent this into PSA for grading already once. Mm -hmm. This is a 1987-88. I think, I can't remember what they said about it, why they wouldn't grade it, but I'm pretty sure I'd sent this in once. Now we have it graded, so let's see what we got. And they, you, you can't remember why they denied it. No, I don't. I just thought it was one of those cards that um, I'd already submitted once and I thought I'd try again. Okay, well, let's see. Okay. It's a six. Yeah, although the good news is a Jordan sticker in this particular year, uh, again, a wild guess, probably 120 to 160 bucks, just be well, probably between 100 and 150, just because it's Jordan. 
So it was worth to get it to grade it. Anything that we're going to get 60 bucks or more is worth it because it costs 15 bucks a card. That's my opinion. Okay. So good. All right, you're up. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull out some bad news. So these are all the cards right here that did not get graded. So I'm going to give you some and I'm going to take some and we're going to reveal those right now. Do they ever, do they, do they have itemized reasons why they're not getting graded? Yes. Um, they will show you why. And I'm going to give you these. Okay. Well, actually, I'm going to take these. I'll start first. Okay. Um, so I will do these and I will have you do these. These ones are going to be easy. The next ones are going to be, it'll be interesting. Okay. This is actually going to be the most fascinating part of this video. Okay. Opinion. So these cards right here, I'll just lay them all out. Um, is that okay? Will we be able to get these? Yeah, yeah, we'll be able to get it all in there. All right. So these cards are star cards. And the reason that they didn't get graded is because they are not grading these particular star cards. A lot of them they are, but I didn't know that they weren't grading best of the best, so I turned them in. But there's some pretty cool cards. You've got a rookie card, Charles Barkley, Akeem Olajuwon, and then you've got, of course, the perennial greats of Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. So these will sell ungraded, and I don't know what they're going to go for. I want to say that Charles Barkley is probably going to go for 100 to 150. Same thing with Akeem. And mm -hmm. Larry and Magic probably go for between 50 and 100. That's a guess. But anyway, this was something that I knew was going to happen. Now, the next ones are the ones that I think I was hoping would get graded and did not. Well, let's see. Okay. Yeah. So... Um, these two Jordans I had already sent for grading mm -hmm. and I wanted to see if they would grade them because I measured them against all the other cards and it seemed like they were the right size. So unfortunately they did not get graded. And if they would have been, I want to say even a six would have got me like, let's see, I know PSA eights are going for a little over a thousand. A six probably would have got me 500. I'm going to guess these are really clean and pretty cards and just, uh, because they didn't get um, great, it doesn't mean they're not authentic. They are authentic. Right. So we'll probably sell these for 400 bucks a piece. All right. And same thing with the checklist. That's a weird one. I, I know I didn't turn that in, and I know I didn't turn this one in. Minimum size required. So do you have anything in your box that has... Okay, you don't have any more of those? Mm -mm, no. Okay, so, so all in all, this is actually pretty good news because I expected a lot more cards not to get graded beyond the best of the best. And then these four from 1986. Like I said, these Jordans... I'd already sent in for grading. They were altered, miscut. I thought I'd try it again just to see what would happen. Maybe they were incorrect and grading too hard or whatever the case might be, but that wasn't the case. So probably end up selling these for maybe two to $400 a piece. And I'm not sure what we'll get for these, but we'll sell those as well. And I just need to designate when I do sell them that they were either altered or minimum size required or whatever the designation is. So there's that. So the good news is though, that we have all those Kareem stickers and none of them where minimum size required or altered. And those are coming up. Oh, so wonderful. Yep. Anything in a six or higher, a six I think is worth like, I want to say a hundred or something like that. All right. So right off the shoot for the next five that I have. So this card right here, I did send it. I distinctly remember sending this in to PSA for grading. And I believe it was minimum size required, but I looked at it really closely and I thought, no, it matches all the other cards. So in fact, I'm gonna send it back in. So I did, it obviously got graded. Let's see what it got graded as, an eight. All right. Yeah, so I don't think that's gonna be worth a ton. It might be worth 50 bucks, 60 bucks, something like that, because this is a much later card than say his rookie card 1986. So there's that. All right. Now we have a Patrick Ewing from 1986. A seven, that might get me seven bucks. But again, we don't have anything lower than a six so far, so not complaining. Next one is Rolando Blackman. This card is really hard to get in a good grade. If it, if it turned out to be a nine, it probably is worth over a hundred dollars. If it's an eight, it's probably only worth like 30, 40 bucks. So let's see what it is. And it's a, it nine. Is a nine. Woo, that's hard to find. So that's, uh, that's as big a surprise as that we've had. So somebody was in a good mood. I didn't expect for us to get any nines in this batch, but in fact, we got one. All right, so this next Michael, these next two Michael Jordans, I didn't submit because they were very off center. So I think a six would probably get us, for 1988, would probably get us uh, 60 bucks. And in fact, it got a seven. Mm. So that's good. Again, the only thing that's wrong with this thing is look how poorly it's centered. 
Yeah, skewed off to the right and down a little bit. Yep, exactly. All right, here's the next one. And it's probably gonna be a seven as well. I would not be surprised. And we got an oh, eight. Oh, that's because this was the 1989. I thought I had another Michael Jordan that was his standard card from 88, but anyway. All right, a couple of eights. That's good, I'll take it. All right, my next five. We got another Michael Jordan in the box. Oh, this would be so interesting. We got, and we got oh. an 887 Fleer. Yeah, so this is gonna be worth, gosh, this is way off the top of my head. Maybe it's gonna be really a wide range, but I, I'm surprised you got that kind of grade. Somewhere between like 325 and 450, I think. So that's a, a great grade. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. So much like the, um, the next card that you have coming up, um, why don't you put it uh, the, the back up? Um, this card is really hard to get in a good grade. And much like the Rolando Blackman, I think a nine is probably worth between 100 and 200, but an eight is kind of worth like 30 bucks or something. All right, let's see. Oh, a seven. Oh, Woof. oops. Yeah, I probably can't. I It cost me $15 to get that graded. I probably couldn't get 15 bucks for it. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Some come all right, green. here we go. This Let's is, see, we got oh, a six. Yeah, it's low, but the sixes here are worth at least a hundred bucks. So, really, yep, yeah, I think so. Maybe 80, somewhere in there. They're just really hard. Most of them, like I said, are miscut, and this one was not. Got us a six. I think most of these are going to be in the six to seven range, but that's good. I'm very happy that all of these got graded. Well, let's see how we did on this one. All right. And this one's also a six. Yep. Okay, not the worst. Nope, not the worst. And finally, yep. another six. Yeah. Okay, three sixes for the Kareem cards. Yeah. Yeah. Wish I could have got higher grades, but I'm, again, satisfied that they just got graded. So, all right, so let's do these. So now we have the standard Kareem Abdul Bar card. Not nearly as hard to get in a decent grade. Um, the only thing that's hard about it is the first of any card in a series um, is one that's usually damaged because it gets a lot of wear and tear when you put it into um, an entire year. All right, so this is Kareem, 1986-87, and got an eight. That's not great. Bad, not yeah, bad. I'm gonna say that'll get between 100 and 150, so no complaints there. Oh, we got another one, another Kareem. And this one got another eight. Another eight. Good. I'm glad I sent these in for grading. This Chris Mullen did get a grade. This is hard to get. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna guess just because the centering is so crappy on the back, it's gonna be a seven. Oh, oh five. That's not gonna be worth much, maybe 30 bucks or something okay. like that, which is unfortunate. All right, Larry Bird from the same year, 1986. Great. That's gonna be, I don't know, 120 to 150 bucks, I think. Dominique, this will not grade that high. I was. I don't know why I even turned it in because both of these are very poorly centered. So let's see what we got here. Seven, that's about All right. right. Yeah, probably a wild guess, 60, 70 bucks. And the last Dominique, a seven, not surprising. Okay, you're up. All right, final card, I think this is the final four. Yep. Got another Kareem Abdul-Jabbar card. Another six. I should have just kept us going from the last round I did. <laughs> yeah. We just got a lot of sixes here. Somebody got in the mode of giving us sixes. Yeah. Someone was sleeping on the job. Yeah. Um, just stamp them out. Another six. Let's yeah. just do the next one. Let's just see if we got another six here. Another six. That's all, all so sixes. All sixes. So I think that's five sixes for the 86 Fleer yep. bar. And now this one is interesting because this is uh, a star card that in the past, like I said, PSA wasn't grading. So I sent it in and I think I sent it in to Beckett and for some reason they didn't grade it. I can't remember what it was, uh, but obviously PSA has graded. And this card in like a seven is probably worth, I don't know, hundred to 200 bucks, but in an eight is worth anywhere between 650 and 900. Okay. So let's see what we got. Here. All right. And we got that eight. Ooh, that's really good. Ooh, that's, I forgot what a nice looking card is. So, so all in, you know, if we got, I sent in, let's say I got 35 cards graded, it cost us probably 800 bucks. I'm gonna say we probably got about mm, 100 times 30 on average, would be 3,000. This is, you know, probably $4,000 for the cards. So all in all, that's not, too bad, not what you would have gotten the password grading things at PSA, but sure, we will take it. All right, 
Thank you, sir. And thank you. Thank you for joining us today on Triple Double Sports Cards. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give us comments and like us. Darn it. So we had a winner. Now, 39 cards, hard to guess. Well, Jake, congratulations. You won the LeBron James PSA 10 2019 Mosaic because we had 17 PSA 8s and you guessed 18. Wow. Well done. Those were tough odds. So we're going to do it again. Our next reveal will be primarily 1972-73 Tops Basketball. We'll have some later 70s as well in there. Now, what that contest will be, you'll just have to watch very soon. And in the meantime, on behalf of my son, Kellen, thanks from Triple Level Sports Cards at triplelevelsportscards.com. <laughs>